When an electrical wave or vibration slows down enough, we can't hear it anymore because we are not a polar bear. However, we can still use it. An envelope generator is a module designed for creating variable and slow changes in an electrical waveform or a slow wave. Uh, there's a lot of ways to describe it, but we can also sort of show it on the oscilloscope. So we need to tell the envelope generator to go! Unfortunately, most envelope generators do not respond to verbal commands. I tend to use like a square wave oscillator to trigger the envelope generator. Some envelopes you can just use a trigger, which is just a momentary burst of electricity and it sets that envelope going. The envelope module in the Pittsburgh system can sort of work both ways. This red cable is going over to square wave generator from our LFO, which is triggering the envelope. This control here controls the rise of the envelope, and this is the fall. Bang! Square wave hits the envelope module, and that envelope modulates the cutoff frequency of a filter, or the pitch on an oscillator, or anything that's got CV input. It's super handy. The requirements for triggering an envelope generator are different depending on the make and model. Um, in some situations, um, it's best to use a nice long square wave uh, because the, the waveform of the envelope will remain high as long as the triggering voltage is high. So if you imagine the square wave all the way up, um, that means the envelope has all that time to stay up before it starts falling. There's also a pretty cool feature here labeled cycle. If you turn that on, then the envelope re-triggers every time it finishes the cycle. As well as responding to the square wave trigger input. And of course we can turn cycle off. Just go back to the square wave control. As you turn up the rise control on an envelope, that determines the length of time it takes the voltage to reach its maximum. And then the fall, of course, is the opposite. Uh, that determines how long it takes and what shape uh, it takes for the electricity to fall back down. So that's why there's knobs there for that. Envelopes um, seem to be very expressive, and the more control you have over them, the more you know you can control other things. Um, and a lot of great envelope modules have sort of bonus features also that we'll we'll get into uh, in the intermediate series. Okay, does that make sense? If so, congratulations! You understand the envelope generator. If not, go back, check it out again. If you come back here and it still doesn't make sense, don't worry about it. Do what I did. Tell yourself, I can still enjoy playing with a box of lightning without understanding fully how it works. Alright, stick around for the next episode. We're moving on to the LFO.